Hello and welcome to Center Circle. I am Jeremaine Brown. Hailing from a small community off Mountain View Avenue in Kingston, late reggae girl Tarania Plum Plum Clark was expected to do big things. But that expectation ended in October 2019. And five years later, Clark's family is still turning the pages of the dictionary in search of the meaning for justice. The American playwright and screenwriter Stephen Adley Gurgis wrote, No parent should have to bury a child. It is not in the natural order of things. Well, it's not like Charmaine Riley Clark didn't get the message. It's a case of not being able to avoid the unthinkable. Riley Clark is the mother of late reggae girl Tarania Plum Plum Clark, who was stabbed to death on October 31, 2019 in Halfway Tree following a dispute over a cellular phone. Rochelle Foster, the woman charged for the stabbing death, was later found guilty of manslaughter and on February 28, 2024, was sentenced to six and a half years at hard labor. Not the length of punishment that Riley Clark was expecting for the loss of her daughter. I was really confident in the judge to consider it as a bigger sentence. And to my surprise, it was the family and Jamaica at all embarrassed to the end because even when we went there the last time for the trial, they we would call say, them insultos. They insult Jamaica. They insult. They insult the case because when we went there, we went there before ten o'clock in the morning. And when court time, I went upstairs. I said, "Jen, come on the court." They said the case put off until two o'clock. We went downstairs to get some fresh air. And when we come downstairs, they tell us that it's two o'clock. When we go back to, when we go back in one o'clock, all day sitting there. It was surprised when I hear. The star lady come and said that um, not, no case not going inside there. The man was locking up the window, locking up the door, and about to come out of the courthouse. So I said, what is this going on here, sir? And him turned and said, the case done from 11 o'clock. I find that so disrespectful and rude, you know. And, was there sitting down the same way. I couldn't believe it, I couldn't believe it, I couldn't believe it because I was waiting on two o'clock appointment. And up to the time, two o'clock appointment, nobody, nobody was in the courthouse. So up till now, I don't know if Russia is free. I don't know if she in lock up. I don't know because all know I don't know. So I want to really know if what is really justice because I know nothing that is true could go so. I don't know if she's still up on the run. I don't know if she get locked up. Me no know because me no get no justice all now. You understand? Me no Plum Plum and a murderer. And who kill Plum Plum? No say she and Plum Plum never find. Because if the camera where them use where they was, show that it was not a fight. As she was the aggressive one, according to what the evidence I witnessed, see what was going on the plaza. Plum Plum was here, you know, and she leave and tell me that she so come. And when Plum Plum leave and go away, my uncle hear that Plum Plum dead. So you call my picnic like out of goat out of den. If you kill my picnic and carry to the market, you sell the meat. That's something look and like. Riley Clark pointed out where things began to go downhill at the trial. To me, I feel like they must use people who train in the field of law to do those things. Because to how oh, it looked to me like now, at the age of me now, me forgot to take up law in my hand. Other them send me forgot to take up law in my hand for them come sentence me and prison me. Or them leave Rochelle for come back, come kill other else people's children. I am not talking this just because it's plum plum. You know, I'm just, um, I'm just imagine other people out there with them children die on those tragedy situations. When I even look at the children cry down by King Street, all those children are cry for plum plum too. Because when I look upon it, like I look upon me and I say, see the lady here, a plum plum mother this. Even other day I was saying to my friend that um, the little girl that they cut her throat, I don't hear anything about those, I don't hear anything else more. So, 
We mother who give pain to those children who lost them life in those tragedy situation. Me feel ripped up. Me feel like I have an eggshell a crack it up so day and night it just there before me. It just there before me. So, sometimes I really wonder who doing this act or them feel about it. When the judge passed down this sentence to these people who are doing this terrible act to people and giving them lunchtime, and lunchtime you call those things. Mm. So you, you not only lost the daughter, you lost this, that you're Three robbed, of them. Yeah, you're robbed of the satisfaction to be in the court on that final day when judgment was handed down to yeah. see the reaction yes. of Russia and everything. You're robbed of all of that. Everything. No justice. No justice. I never been 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 rude to no one, kill no one, never hurt nobody pick me. Me is a mother of all nieces, nephew, neighborhood, children and everybody. Plum Plum was loved by everybody. Our aim was to even help the Mountain View Primary School here and the children in the community. Our aim and intent was to give back and to help people. Them come as far and she said she went to come help me fix up the house and those things. Other some people come here and interview me and say they went help me. Me not get no help from nobody. She was the one that went to come and help me with my other son that them shoot up up topside here. Martin Luther King once said, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And that's something that rings out at the home of the Clarks. I really wonder, where is justice? Where is justice? What is justice? I go in the dictionary, this man, Mr. Timon and Pickney say, tell me the meaning of justice. Because all of still can't understand what is justice. And, and you, 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 she's a, a third child that you have lost, right? But this one yeah. touched you more than... than uh, day and night, day and night, day and night. Anywhere I go, I'm just happy until that moment done. If I go to a wedding or if I go to church as a cook, as she may say, because I would go to church and I come back, the food don't cook. If the gas don't, she come from France, I go buy a gas. Mother in there, later, so I'm all right. Sometimes she sit down me and she just sit down with a good conversation. Plum Plum never hit me cry. And I don't think she want to see me in this situation. You understand? On the day that Tarania was killed, she and her mother had just returned from the supermarket when she got a call from someone for them to meet. I buy some apple give her and a juice. I'm saying, I'm waiting for apple before I go away. I said, Mommy, so come back, man. Me so come back. I'm sitting inside and drink a cup of soup. And while I drink in the cup of soup, I come outside and say, so I feel so cold. I like how I feel, you know. And I like how I feel, but it's after my son. It's, it's before my son die. Because him died before Plum Plum. So it's afterward, I said to them, I said, I'm the same as when Kirk is dead. I'm the same as when Kirk is dead. I'm the same as when he feel. Like when he went off flu. So you start to feel yeah, yeah, that effect yeah, yeah. before you actually you know, she, she died? Yeah, I feel hot and cold. I feel hot and cold. I said, I feel just like when Kirk did dead. And a neighbor was passing. I said to her, say, You know, I like how I feel. And I said, How oh, you feel? And I said, I feel hot and cold like me. I will get flu. And I said, Plum Plum gone and she didn't eat none of the apple and she didn't drink none of the juice. And she come out of the house. And by the time I look at her coach, I see her when I come. I said, Stop Plum Plum and kill Plum Plum. So I was looking to say it's a robbery. And for somebody to rub her off her phone or rub her, you know, because she'd have a knapsack on her back. So I don't know if money was in the bag or what I don't know. So I was looking more like it's an accident. I never know, say somebody, I really called somebody and take a knife and push in on my daughter two times. And, and Russia wasn't someone you knew before? No, I caught me because she's off the tree. Never see her because plum plum, none of my children carry strange on my house. I never carry a friend here. So it's when I went by half a tree, the courthouse now, my tree was to look upon her. And every time that I look upon her, like she changed. Because if I go on the road, I couldn't see her to say see her here. I couldn't identify her. Even when I went down by the courthouse, one at a time, I said, I wonder if I could get a chance to say to the father, say, 
where our parents, you know, we could come together and say something and say, but to all, oh, I don't know his intention towards me, but you can really see that him looks sad, like myself too. You know, so I know how to face him neither because I know if him that insult me or what. But so far, when I look upon him, I could have seen um, him sad. You know? So. You, you mentioned about um, Plum Plum would have been the one to, to help you in, in some ways, financially as well. Yeah. Um, so she gone now has left a void where that is concerned and it, it's left you in a spot as well because from whatever she should have earned from playing football it would have been contributed to the home and you don't have that anymore to look forward to no and that no. has left you in a, in a bad, bad yeah, man, it, 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 i don't know how we manage don't know how we manage me i look so me i look so me i look so so far as far as what me see now, me that really, really want some help. Cause me I do want host there so. And she, a fair money really do it. They, they, when them call them money there again. Per day. Yeah. So, so far I there so me reach with the house. When I'm in a position for work, for go build no house or so, or a coach, we see what him can do for finish it for me, you know? I don't know if anybody out there who can help me because even um, Andrew Onis, Mrs. Onis, she was passing through the community the other day and she took my number and she was doing an interview with me and she promised me and I tell her, say, I'm waiting on her call to call my back, but I don't hear anything from her from that time. So I don't know if it's a politics talk or what, because I was going through the community. So I'm just patiently waiting for some help whosoever want to help me, I'm really grateful of it because I lost a lot. I buried my mother, I buried my father, I buried my son, and my daughter did have a um, kidney problem. She lost her two kidneys. And when she hear about Plum Plum death, she just dead. Mama. Sometimes I feel grown at the back of my house and cry. Come on, my children see me cry. Plum plum, stop by already you now. She stopped plum plum already you now. Plum plum, I look from where. And I, when she did, the girls say one time them there one match already and plum plum coming at them. She sit down because my daughters them and their friend went to the football field. And she accused plum plum, said plum plum, they were my daughter. Cause she didn't know my daughter, so she thinks it's a, 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 a woman thing. And stop plum plum here. And she didn't tell me. So if plum plum get a stop there and reach a hospital and survive, she hide it from me. So when she come and say plum plum buck her, plum plum kick her, plum plum, she never live long for plum plum do that to her. Turn the siblings of Tarania Plum Plum Clark also have their say. 